Hey pretty people, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to switch out the foot for our cylinder bed sewing machine. So this one cost about $7 on AliExpress which give or take is about $5,300 with change Naira. And I ordered this and it took about 3 weeks to deliver to Lagos and this was how the package came. Everything was just wrapped tightly together and the whole thing came completely thankfully nothing was missing and the parts are the the walking foot that's the pair the base plates and the feed dog so now i'm just going to show you guys quickly how i switch everything out so first things first obviously you lift it and just for the sake of access this thing was very annoying it the corners were so tight the screwdrivers could barely even get to some places i had to switch to other tools so first I remove the needle because I didn't want to injure myself. Then I'm going to go ahead and remove both feet. That will give me space or rather enough space to be able to remove the base plate. So you have to be very careful when doing this, especially when you're putting it back. The screws are fixed very tightly. So you have to make sure as you are removing everything, you keep your screws in places that you're not going to misplace them and you fix them back as tight as possible this one particularly when i was removing the feed dog was very annoying because it was very 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 tightly fixed so this is the one i just removed and the new one i bought and i was like Yeesh, i am already seeing like some small small differences so i knew at this point i was going to need help so if you want to do this i advise you get a professional i i guess if this was the exact size i wouldn't have needed help from anyone but as you're looking at it you can even see the difference it's very small it's very subtle but every part in these machines are supposed to be exactly the same so that it can move as smooth as possible but at this point because i was really stubborn i was like yeah it's gonna work i'm going to fix it i don't care <laughs> as long as it fits i'm going to use it like that so i went ahead and i just closed everything down and i was really hoping at this point that the machine was going to sew properly so here i'm just screwing back the base plate and this is going to cover most of the interior and so when you're sewing it doesn't get to like scratch your work so um yes the next thing i fixed back the foot it's pretty much the same it's just very minor minor differences it's not really like that different i just wanted to switch this because the foot that was there is actually for taping or bias binding but i just wanted the ordinary general foot something that was smooth and wouldn't tear my bag when i'm sewing it so here i wanted to test it to see okay if it was going to work and i really crossed my fingers here and i'm like please 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 work i don't want to pay any extra money but unfortunately it sewed but it wasn't moving smoothly i could tell that there was something inside that was sort of like holding it up or causing some form of delay in the timing so technician to come and help me file it down a bit so on the left you can see how it was before and on the right you can see how he sort of like grinded it down to look very very similar to the way it was um like the first one that i just removed so this is just a side by side comparison i don't know if i'm going to find this exact one on aliexpress but if you want to and you order this just know you're going to have to call someone in to make some adjustments so at this point i was like oh finally thank god we have solved the problem so time to test it again we're going to fix the base plate back before bringing out our piece of um, material that we're going to use to test it out so what do you guys think about this is this something you would want to try out i think my own problem was because the former base plate and the whole thing was set up and it was always sort of like scratching or ripping especially synthetic leathers like it always sort of like gave some very ugly marks that i did not like so is this something you would want to try out you want to try out this foot and see if it sort of like helps your work come out a little neater i don't know what do you guys think about this um this thing. just put it in the comment section let's talk about it all right thanks for watching this post um don't forget to like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you in my next video bye